Welcome everyone. There's a major film opening this weekend. A lot of people have been curious and excited for, and that is the latest in Disney's trend of taking their animated catalog and looking for source material to adapt into a live-action film. I've gone on before about the specific differences between a remake and an adaptation. However, Disney's approach, with one exception I'll name in a little while, has been to mainly remake their animated films into live-action, with barely any attention paid to the original source material. The first part of this trend was 101 Animations, which turned the animated film into a John Hughes slapstick comedy typical of the 90s. Maleficent decided to retell Disney's Sleeping Beauty by focusing on its iconic villain, and turning her into the hero of the story for some reason. Last year, they released Cinderella, and director Kenneth Branagh decided to mainly do his own adaptation of the fairy tale, with only a couple of nods here and there to the animated film. John Favreau, meanwhile, has taken the opposite approach, and has redone the 1967 animated film The Jungle Book, with only a few references to the Rudyard Kipling story. And this is the result. I'm waiting for a friend. He should be here soon. I can stay with you until he gets here. Would that, that be all right? I'll keep you safe. Just you and me, sweet thing. Who are you? I just want to say, for the record, that The Jungle Book is one of my top ten favorite animated Disney films. I absolutely love this film. And so John Favreau had big shoes to fill when he decided to redo it with a live-action Mowgli and CG animals. Do I think he succeeded? Well, let me start with the elements I liked. On a technical level, this is absolutely breathtaking. The animals look completely realistic, even when they're opening their mouths and talking. Even more stunning are the environments. It looks like Favreau made the film on location, but nope. The entire movie was shot in front of a green screen in a soundstage in California. We have definitely reached the point where computers can replicate any location. Adding to the realism is one of the few elements of the film not created on a computer, Mowgli himself. Neil Seti, in addition to giving a likable performance in the lead role, also makes it believable that he's interacting with these creatures of the jungle. I imagine it was not an easy performance to pull off, but he does a great job. The voices have also been perfectly chosen. Bill Murray as Baloo, Ben Kingsley as Bagheera, Scarlett Johansson as Ka, Idris Elba as Shere Khan, Lopita Nyong'o as Mowgli's wolf mother, Rakshini, and Chris Walken as King Louie are all excellent. And yes, it is amusing to hear Walken sing I Wanna Be Like You. So with all the things I'm praising about The Jungle Book, why did I find it disappointing? Honestly, I don't think this film has any reason to exist. It feels like an expensive animation test. They saw they could make realistic animals and decided, hey, let's remake The Jungle Book. People love that movie. But as a result, when I see Mowgli and Baloo sing The Bare Necessities or Ka saying Trust in Me, I'm only smiling because I'm remembering the animated film I love so much. This film does not carry a unique identity of its own. It reminds me of that Jurassic Park quote. You stood on the shoulders of geniuses to accomplish something as fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had, you patented it, you packaged it, and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox, and now you're selling it. You were so preoccupied with whether or not you could that you didn't stop to think if you should. Why not create an original story with your realistic CG animals, or even just do a more faithful adaptation of the original story, like Andy Serkis is apparently doing over at Warner Brothers? It's just regurgitating a film that already exists and repackaging it in a series of easily digestible action scenes. I'm not going to pretend the Wolfgang Riven film was not episodic, but I felt there was a stronger connection between the scenes. I also felt more emotionally invested in the story. Here, I was just marveling at the technology. In a way, this kind of reminds me of that rumor from the early 2000s that may or may not have been true, 
where apparently Michael Eisner was considering remaking the classic animated films as computer animated movies. This Jungle Book could actually qualify as an animated feature, as only Mowgli and one other human character are real. But the Nine Old Men already made practically the same movie in gorgeous hand-drawn animation. I'm holding it in my hand, right now. In conclusion, I thought it was just... okay. It's technically marvelous, but also utterly pointless. It'll be interesting to see how I feel about the gazillion future live-action adaptations and remakes Disney is developing in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.